Yeah, um, this is a text message from a friend that I'm supposed to meet up with later this afternoon. Um, we have plans. She sent this message at around 12.07 p.m. today. Um, and right now I am being uh, prevented from being able to do what I need to do by somebody who seems to have some kind of knowledge of what I do in this unit and who seems to be able to use some type of remote capacity electronic assault device on me while I'm doing certain things in this unit that they have a problem with, but not others. Right now I'm cleaning and organizing and I'm getting ready to leave the unit for the afternoon so I can hang out with my friends. I've had the same group of close friends for at least 10 years and I'm just getting my clothing ready, hanging stuff up, doing a little cleaning and uh, making my bed. And for the last 30 minutes now, um, the same person, presumably the psychopath that is in the sponsorship of the Greenville group, her name is Jasmine Irizarry, who has been using some type of remote capacity electronic assault device on my person on and off since 2017, um, which is when it started. And I thought it was my Wi-Fi router going crazy. So I got rid of the router and then the uh, electronic assaults from some type of remote capacity device in in this area somewhere in this building continued so then i realized it wasn't my router and it wasn't my cell phones it's somebody using some type of device that emits concentrated levels of emf some type of emf frequency and it occurs when I do certain specific things in this unit, but not others. So if I'm just standing here staring at the wall, nothing happens. But if I lie on my bed face up, facing the ceiling, sometimes like with my legs in a certain position, not that I'm doing anything, I'm just lying there, you know, stretching out my lower back or whatever. That's when I get start getting zapped. I'll just call it zapped. I mean, there's a scientific term for it, but zapping is just quicker and easier for purposes of making this video. Then she also likes to um, electronically assault me when I'm sitting on the toilet in my bathroom. Again, you know, some an activity that is personal and private. She also likes to electronically um, zap me while I'm in the shower and only doing certain things in that shower. It's not constant when I'm in the shower. So right now she seems to have a problem with me getting ready to leave this unit preparing to take a shower, preparing to go out and meet my friends. These are the tights I'm going to be wearing. And um, there's absolutely no reason for this uh, electronic assault to be occurring right now. I'm feeling just fine. I had two cups of coffee, um, decent breakfast, vitamin C, all kinds of healthy stuff this morning. Um, I'm shaking things out, taking out recycling, um, making my bed, feeling active, texting my friend, sending emails, receiving emails, making phone calls. And this person, this psychopath that Greenville appears to be sponsoring because they moved her out of Unit 78 a couple of years ago, and now they seem to have moved her right back. She's been smoking marijuana in the bathroom behind this wall throughout the morning, uh, got disruptive in the bathroom of Unit 78 while I tried to use the toilet in my bathroom earlier this morning. And now she has once again resumed the use of some type of remote capacity electronic assault device that physically electronically assaults me while I'm in the process of doing certain things in this unit, but not others. These assaults are entirely surveillance based. It has been eight years now that people have been telling me they can see what I do in this unit. Um, some of them are other tenants who brag to me that they get to see what I do. And then they've referred to things that I do in the privacy of my bathroom, body parts that I tend to shave and things like that. Um, others have been police officers who've indicated that there is that they're aware of the presence of surveillance devices in this unit but they don't know who is responsible for the footage um, there have been maintenance managers who have said yes I know there's de devices in there but I'm not the person to talk to about that so presumably the person who does have access to the footage is Oleg Alyssa of the property manager who seems to be working or in a friendly relationship with Jasmine Irizarry who is obviously according to what he told me about her a cyber criminal who is very good at getting into things. His exact words in 2019 were, oh, she is so good. She can hack into anything. She can get into anything. When I said she's a hacker, he's like, yeah, she's so good. She can get into anything. So if she can get into anything, then she can also use surveillance devices in this unit, right? As dozens of people have 
told me at this point. I've had coworkers make references to things that I do in this unit, basically telling me that I have a really messy apartment um, and that it's, you know, it's a complete sloppy mess. They weren't trying to be nice. These aren't people who are trying to be nice. These are people who are basically bragging to me that they get to see what I do in here. And then the electronic zapping happens. So there is a scientific term for it. I'm just going to say zapping again, uh, because that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like you're being tasered. Um, it's not a taser for the morons who watch my channel and who think I'm saying that I'm being tasered. No, I'm not. I'm saying it's something like a taser. But these idiots who hate stalk my uh, videos don't understand the concept of an example or possibly of what a metaphor is, right? So when I say tasering, it's a metaphor for what is actually happening. Somebody is trying to electronically assault me using a device that is like a taser and has the uh, same intended effect. So this is happening now. It's 12.30 p.m. It's making it hard for me to breathe. I'm still able to move around. I mean, I'm not, it's not like I'm being incapacitated. Yeah, 1251. So I have to meet my friend and the psychopath, uh, Jay Irizarry, seems to have a problem with that. She also tends to get really aggressive, like I said, when I have to use the facilities in my bathroom for any reason, either the toilet or the shower. And obviously, because I have to shower in order to meet my friends, then she's getting all like agitated and worked up about the fact that I have to use my shower. She's a sex offender. That's a fact. There was a Jay Irizarry in the Massachusetts Sex Offender Registry in 2018. So whether or not Ms. Irizarry um, has, you know, been ejected from the Massachusetts Sex Offender Registry as of now, I don't know. 2018, there was a Jay Irizarry who looked just like her in the Sex Offender Registry at the local police station. So there you go. I'm not making that up. And that's not slander or libel if it is a verifiable fact or if it's something that did factually occur and exist at some point in time. I'm simply reporting what I saw and observed when I went to the police station sometime in 2018 and asked to view the Massachusetts Sex Offender Registry for sex offenders in this area. So right now I'm getting zapped even as I'm saying this, which means that the same sex offender, psychopath and cyber criminal named Jasmine Irizarry, who has been using an electronic assault device on my person on and off in this unit since 2017 is aware of what I'm saying right now, obviously, and she's reacting to it in a negative way, which means she's using whatever this device is um, and and doing the same thing she's been doing for years. Press four or press zero for the front desk. Thank you for calling the Green Bar Group. This is Sunny Super. Yes, hi. Um, I'm calling from you to 89 to report that there are some ongoing health... I'm sorry, I can't really hear you. Uh, okay. So, yeah, can you hear me now? Yeah, hello, can you hear me now? Okay, um, I'm calling from Unit 89 to report that there are some ongoing health and safety issues occurring in Unit 89 at this time, and there seems to be someone in the bathroom of 78 who has been getting disruptive, making banging noises, smoking marijuana behind the wall of my shower area, and using some type of remote capacity electronic assault device that she has been using since 2017. Um, yeah, I'm assuming it's the same person. Um, I'm assuming it's the same person that's lived in Unit 78 um, since 2017. Oh, she just hung up on me. <laughs> nice. Okie dokie. Management just hung up. Okay, that's fine. I'll follow up with an email then because this keeps happening. And uh, it's preventing me from, again, being able to do what I need to do. Wow. That wasn't, that wasn't very polite. Did I just call the Greenville group? Yes, I did. Okay. I mean, there's nothing else I can do except for follow up in writing. <laughs> it's the same person that's been doing this since 2017, and it's a female, obviously. I don't think men would have that type of obsessive um, need to hate stalk people who, you know, are minding their own business. I mean, I'm just trying to clean up my place and get going. Um, and this person seems to have some kind of emotional problem with that. And she has a problem with me using my toilet and with me using my shower, which indicates some type of um, sexual, sexually deviant uh, response to what other people do in their bathroom. Obviously, I mean, anybody who aggressively harasses you when you try to use your toilet and they have some type of surveillance based knowledge of what you do in your bathroom as you're doing it in real time is a sex offender, right? I mean, normal people don't do that.
Normal people do not do that. So let's just listen to this again. Normal people do not aggressively and repeatedly harass other people who try to use their bathroom while minding their own business and trying to live their lives, right? Normal people don't do stuff like that. Normal people leave other people alone. I'm going to say this again. Normal people leave other people alone. And I'm going to say it a third time. Normal people leave other people alone. They don't hate stalk people. Hate stalking is a mental health issue. Um, they don't aggressively harass other people. Uh, aggressive harassment is a mental health issue. They don't use surveillance devices in other people's bathrooms. Creeping and perving all over what other people do in their living spaces is a mental health issue. So what I'm reporting here is the same psychopath that Greenville has been telling me lives in the bathroom of 78 since 2013. And that person's name is Jasmine Arizari. Um, I'm just reporting what she has been doing for the last 10 years and that her name is Jasmine Arizari because that's what the Greenville group tells me that her name is. And that's where the Greenville group tells me she has resided in unit 78. Mr. Oleg Lisayev in 2023, which was a year ago, informed me that he had moved Irizarry out of Unit 78, but that she still lived in this building. And now she apparently has been moved right back into her old unit um, based upon the type of disruptive behavior that occurs from directly behind that wall when I do the same exact things to get her going as I've been doing since 2013. And that is simply minding my own business, living my life, trying to use my bathroom like normal people do, and getting harassed by the same person who's been harassing me from behind that wall since 2013. Why did the Greenville Group move her back into that unit? I can only speculate, but that's what's happening right now.